We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Unalienable rights, which the Louisville Democratic Party says are in jeopardy. But today there is no cause for celebration. There is no reason to set off white, blue, and red fireworks. There is a compelling need for recognizing the red flags that are flying all around us. On the birthday of our nation, state Democratic leaders gathered on the steps of Metro Hall to read the Declaration of Independence, addressing our democracy and the current state of freedom. In 2022, freedom to me is choosing when to become a parent, choosing who you love, not being judged for it, not being denied rights because of it, and not being afraid that the government is dictating any of that for you. We're seeing our freedoms being eroded. These united colonies are, and of right ought to be, free and independent states. From January 6th to the overturning of Roe v. Wade, Democratic leaders say the annual declaration reading is especially relevant today. This is always important, but this year particularly, when we're facing so many threats to our democracy, I think we ought to use this occasion as a call to action uh, to make sure that America understands what's at stake. What you saw here today in the reading of the Declaration of Independence is celebrating uh, our country, but in celebrating our country, people advocating for it to continue to get better, to continue to be the best we can be. All men and women are free in this country. Will we return to a time when we are not free? I say no! Madeline Carter, WLKY.